So there's one really fascinating study uh, done recently on, um, on hearts. Scientists had um, induced something like a heart attack in, in uh, pregnant mice. And they found that um, the fetal cells were sort of swarming to that place of injury in the heart. And there, uh, they are actually differentiating. They are turning into heart cells, um, including the type of heart cells that produce a heartbeat. And so this is kind of really amazing and, and kind of cute in a way, too. It's like, uh, you know, the fetus is um, helping men, mom's broken heart. This is one example of how, how these fetal cells may actually help repair um, maternal, um, you know, maternal uh, bodies. Another example is the skin. Um, they found in pregnant women that, um, that, again, these fetal cells are sort of homing in on places where um, the skin is injured or after childbirth. These cells might, these fetal cells, are come to the place of injury, and actually help um, help restore the integrity and structure and function of the skin. And very interestingly, um, pregnant women may scar less than women who aren't pregnant, again because those fetal cells are helping repair and restore that tissue. I guess the most startling area is the brain. Um, Researchers have had uh, have induced some sort of uh, brain injury in mice that are moms, and again we see those fetal sw cells sort of swarming, homing in on the uh, areas of injury. This time, producing new neurons in the in the brains, and this has so many really fascinating implications. I mean, again, the science is so new, um, but for uh, you know if this happens in women and there's no reason to believe that it couldn't or doesn't then it might explain all sorts of interesting things. Um, new moms, for instance, there are a lot of behavioral shifts. We become more nurturing, we become more vigilant, um, our senses sharpen. Maybe, just maybe, fetal cells have something to do with that too. We don't know, it's all speculation, but it's really fun to think about.